Hello, okay, I'm here to do my leadership interview and I'm not turning in any recording of me in the interview because I was in class, you said not to do that, I didn't even record it, so you're welcome, whoever's watching this, I'm doing the right thing, hopefully, um, not hopefully, I know I'm doing the right thing, so I'm going to answer all the questions that the assignment asks. Um, I chose... Jenny Park, so she works for Crew, which is a ministry that I'm involved in here at UF, but it has a global presence around the world. It stands for Campus Crusade for Christ, and I really love the organization here, and I'm thinking of possibly working for them post-graduation, and um, she is just an executive director of Global Missions. Um, my dad actually works for Crew and works alongside Jenny, and when I asked him, I mean, I love him, I love his opinion, I hold it very highly, I asked him someone I could interview um, within the company, and he said Jenny, so I chose her, um, I met her before, she's really sweet, um, so I was really excited for that opportunity to ask her more about leadership and kind of get a different take. Um, from her in a way that I wouldn't have had in other conversations. So that's why I picked Jenny Park. Um, my perceptions of her during the interview, I definitely thought she was super, like, self-reflective, um, like, very, she understood herself and her weaknesses, which was so cool to witness as, like, a leader, someone who was aware of the ways that they needed to grow and... She just like super like humble actually, which is crazy considering um that the age factor is a book we're reading for the class, but she was just very humble, didn't wasn't like very haughty and thinking that she was like had this great title and knew everything, but she just like shared about like her struggles more than I feel like her successes. Um kind of where she was growing and where she had made mistakes so that was really cool to see um that she was really self-perceptive and just had like I feel like a a right view of herself which is humility um the next question that I have to answer is um the key leadership characteristics discussed by her so I would say the key characteristics discussed by her was definitely being like people oriented versus like goal oriented. She shared how that was one of her mistakes earlier in her leadership is she would just kind of charge on towards the goal, not really care who got in, like who was hurt along the way, but kind of like would get there and then maybe backtrack and be like, okay, who did I run over to get there? Um, but she was just saying, like, you're working with people, so you need to, like, know how to work with people. So I think she was just talking about being a personable person and being able to, like, really deal with people's emotions and understand that that's an important um, factor to leadership and guiding people and directing people. And so, yeah, she was definitely focused on being people-oriented. I think that was... Um, one of the main characteristics she discussed. My perception of her after the interview, I would say is kind of the same during, is just like she's very self-reflective. I think I could even see, I guess like something I didn't say before, but during the interview I think I could even see that she, the way that she was just saying she can struggle to be like, prioritizing people over like goals and different things and I can totally see in the way that she communicates how like that's the way that she is is she's very like technical and kind of like my not that she isn't socially aware she just like it's the way that she was talking like she you can just like I don't know she's not like super charismatic or anything like that um so that was maybe more during the interview but I think like after I could definitely see how she's perceptive and how she thinks about like other people and these things and all the ways that um 
like all of that working together and I think it's kind of the same I felt the same during versus after of I just think she's really um wise and knows herself well um and has herself in like a right view um she made some really cool key statements um which I wrote down so I'm gonna look for those now um but she talked about how um being right is not that important um how she used to focus on like just trying to be right and kind of like wanted to prove her point versus like actually like coming alongside people and like just worrying about like how they felt about different things and like wanting the best for them and doing the best for them and not actually being right like that actually doesn't actually matter um she also said oh I really like this one she said Dif difference is not deficiency she said early in her leadership she had to remind herself of that and even if she felt like she knew it intellectually like she would tell herself difference is not deficiency like she couldn't it was harder to apply that to life like she was just thinking that whenever she had this idea of what a leader should be or what how someone developing under her leadership should look like but obviously they have differences in personality and their perceptions and their ideas and just because they were different didn't mean that they were deficient in some way and she had to learn that and I really liked that I think that's a good lesson for me um, to apply as well in any sort of leadership I take is that just because people are different doesn't mean that they're not have amazing things and that if they don't fit into this box of what I thought that doesn't mean that they're deficient and so she was just saying how she felt like she didn't like affirm people as much and maybe made them think that they weren't progressing or doing a good job just because they weren't going in a direction that she thought they should be going in so yeah, that was my interview with Jenny Park. It was really amazing, and I was really grateful to learn more about her. And I'll definitely be thinking more on the lessons she taught me, the lessons she's learned, and reflecting on them and hopefully integrating them into leadership as I become in different leadership roles and just in my day-to-day. -day. But it's definitely good to hear from her and see how she's grown but I think I definitely learned that like she said for her like these different lessons she's learning it's more about a process than like it's not like when she just knew that something was right like for example that difference is not deficiency um that that even if she knew that like it was kind of a process of like that actually integrating itself and like even she still struggles with that but just knowing that she did and knowing that it's a process to learn that lesson like for me to know that I'm gonna make mistakes but would I be able to like say that yes I've made I'm making mistakes as a leader and like I want to see my people under me as like unique and has have their amazing differences and really honor and affirm those and just create a space for creativity and just people to be genuine and themselves and like grow up to be the leaders that they're supposed to be so yeah I'm really grateful to have interviewed her and thank you for listening and it's not the video of me interviewing her you're welcome bye